Well, is, isn't this further proof that um, Hendon Hooker covered up a lot of defensive blemishes uh, for that team, especially in the secondary? Now, they haven't been healthy back there for a good chunk of the year, and Spencer Rattler took advantage of it. I, I just, I'm amazed, um, quite frankly, that Spencer Rattler had a game like that. It, it, it shows that the evolution of a quarterback has to be tied to his knowledge and comfort comfortability within an offense. And he was just uncomfortable with what they were asking him to do early in the season. He'd never seen it before. He'd never done it. And I think that was shocking to a lot. It was shocking to me when I first heard it. You know, the pro style is so foreign to a guy who'd done nothing but basically run the spread and air raid. He's asked to do things he'd never done before. A very different position. And he and Marcus Satterfield obviously got on the same page and found some stuff they would like. Six touchdowns to set a school record. And, uh, you know, they had, uh, top five team had never been touched for 63 points before in the history of the AP poll. That was, that was pretty impressive. I hate that Hendon's out for the season. Uh, I hate that we don't get to see him in a bowl game. Um, and then I think what's a fair question and a fair discussion will be going forward, the same thing we heard about uh, Josh Heupel's offense, you know, years ago. Does it put too much stress on your defense? Does it, within the SEC. But, I mean, we know the offense works, right? But how do you find balance in what you're trying to do defensively with what you're able to do offensively? And I think that's a fair question after this past weekend.